Hi, Jim Sinesco here, and I know we're all scared to death. I know John Lee did a video on, on, uh, on the difference on N95s and P100s and, and the Eclipse mask. And there's other types of really cool uh, masks and PAPRs that we're going to be having uh, to protect you from not just only the coronavirus and flu, but also industrial health and safety, uh, be welding fumes and, and chemicals and things like that. So we have all that. But I think the key thing here is the scare. Everyone's scared to death. I got a call from my sister, who's a veterinarian out in South Dakota, uh, last night, and she's worried. And I'm like, well, Sharon, you're, that's the last, you're the last person out in the middle of South Dakota. I'm sure you're not worried. And she started explaining her a little bit of the story why she's afraid. And she's like, well, a lot of my uh, tax travel, they go all over the place, they're traveling around. So she's a little bit worried. So I guess we're all a little bit of a heightened uh, sensitivity to this whole thing. More and more people are starting to die from this. Although even though the numbers um, don't even come anywhere near from the normal flus that we have. But again, it's strange. It's a, it's a new thing. We're not sure. And I think it's really important to at least be uh, understand the types of respirators and the concern and then match those ha that hazard with a product. So the key thing is, is what's an N95 and what's a P100? Typical mask that you'll see being used by hospitals and medical clinics. This is an N95, and this is a medical disposable mask. For the most part, medical people, hospitals use this so they don't exhale on top of you, contaminate you. But it also has a dual purpose, and it is for respiratory protection. Now, you can tell the difference between a, a mask for surgical and a respirator for protection because a, a respirator has two straps. So typically, if you see the old green medical ones, it has one strap. That's just so they don't cough up on you and get you contaminated. But this is an N95 from 3M, and this is the old Draeger. I just had these around, and I know John showed you these, too. This is a respirator, too, and um, N95. So they're, what is that going to protect me against? Well, these biologicals, Ebola, yeah, N95 will work. Okay, it will take care of it. Will it work for welding fumes? It will but we don't recommend that. What we recommend and what the CDC is recommending is a P100. Now, a P100 can look like this, could be disposable. It's just the material that they're using. And if you think about it, a P100 is gonna give you 99.977 or whatever the number is, more efficient than an N95. So that just a little bit more efficiency is really critical when it comes to health and safety. So the CDC is saying P100s, welding fumes, P100s, asbestos, radionuclides, P100s, right? So the Eclipse that John was talking about uses P100s. So I hope that clears up a little bit of, of what, uh, what you got out in the field. If you're looking to, to buy protection, give us a call. Uh, Eclipse is just one of many companies. We did a, a video on uh, Sunstrom. Sunstrom makes a really nice uh, pandemic kit that we're going to do a video on that. We should have that by the end of the week. We're going to do a pandemic kit. It's designed specifically for what's going on right now. Um, but the big thing is disposables, you have to buy a lot of them. They collapse over time. Moisture will then degrade them. P100s and a, a replaceable cartridge mask. You have a nice rubber. You can wash and clean it and use reuse those filters. If it's dust, mists, and welding fumes, for biologicals, you'd pitch them. But the cost per use is a lot less on this. Um, the other thing, too, is these can contour to your face, but over time, your exhale breath is going to break this down dirty hands, crushing them. Now this mask, now if I do this, isn't going to fit on me so good. So it's not always about the cheap end of it. We want to think about what's going to be the best thing for our safety. So anyway, Jim Sinesco, AFC International. Stay safe out there. Don't be freaking out with the, 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 the flu, but you should be cognizant and be understanding of where that potentially could come in contact, and then take necessary steps, but take the right necessary steps. Call us at 800-952-3293 if you have any questions. See on the uh, internet, Facebook, all the things. Love to do business with you. Thank you so much.